Hi everyone, uh, this is a quick video just to show what the pfloat proxy script is all about, which I mentioned in the Grass Generator, yeah, Grass Generator 1.5 video. Um, to use this, I'm just going to quickly make a basic patch and a box. You'll see why this is relevant in a minute. There we go. Okay, Move those aside and we'll get into the script now. So. What the script basically does is it uses the transform data of the particles to actually scatter objects or proxies. Um, it doesn't generate proxies automatically, so do that yourself, but it works with instances. So if it's a small area, you can use the object itself um, without you know, having too heavy a scene or whatever. Um, for this, I'm just going to create a basic particle system. Nothing fancy center it here and we'll go into the particle view and first thing I'm going to do is make sure it shows all the particles in my viewport then I'm going to set the birth to 0, zero. Um, this way it'll emit on first frame uh, and we can just see exactly where all the different particles are then instead of shape I'm going to use shape instance and this is where the box comes in. As you might have noticed, the box is about the same size as the patch. Um, if we use the shape instance uh, and set our display type to geometry, we'll actually kind of get an idea of how much the grass patches are going to overlap uh, and that way have a little more control over the final look. So as you can see, the rotation uh, is on random 3D on a, a standard particle system. If we change this to random horizontal, and we'll show our edges. See, you can actually see that there's a uh, nice kind of scattering going on. Maybe we'll tone down the birth. Um, maybe even a little bit more just to kind of oh, just kind of show what's going on. So we have a bunch of patches we can scatter now. So instead of throwing the uh, grass patch itself in the shape instance, which could cause quite a slowdown, it might be nice to have them uh, all separately as objects in your scene. That way, if you need to throw one out, you don't have to start messing around with the particle system. You can just throw everything out and, uh, that you need and keep going. So I'm going to select the particle flow source in the first uh, on the first button here, basically you're telling it use this particle flow source uh, and then for the object and use the grass patch. There's also an option to add objects to a certain layer so once you activate this checkbox the um, text field uh, you're able to type in it so let's just call this grass. And if I press scatter instances now you're gonna have to turn off the particle system to see what happened but you'll see these are all instances so in the case uh, of them being proxies, there would all be instance proxies, and that way you can keep your scene relatively light. I'll hide this for a second as well. So that's it, basically. I mean, there's not really that much to it, but you're able to scatter your grass uh, a little, little more now. You're actually able to scatter your grass patches, I mean. Um, you could also use tools like Multiscatter or uh, Forest Pack for this, or the great free advanced painter and I, I have a feeling that I might even be forgetting another great free one. There's a lot of stuff to do this anyway um, so this isn't really like a major script I just wanted to add it for some of the people that um, wanted a basic solution to kind of get results quickly. Uh, so yeah if you haven't seen the video on the grass generator definitely check it out um, uh, for Archfiz work I think it's you know it's kind of a handy tool to have but uh, you can decide that yourself of course. Thanks for watching, and uh, well, I'll see you in the next video, I guess. Goodbye.